Opening your Etsy shop is the first step into getting your business off the ground. But if you're feeling overwhelmed, you don't even know where to begin, then in today's video, I'm going to walk you step by step from opening that Etsy shop as well as linking it to Printify. So let's get right into it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bridget. If you're new here, I'm an Etsy print on demand seller on a mission to help other Etsy sellers start and scale their business in a stupid, easy way. So if you like this type of content, please subscribe, like, hit the bell so you can be notified of the next time I release a new video. So guys, let's get right into Etsy. Okay, so we're going to go to Etsy.com. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Hit sell on Etsy. Get started. Here you will enter um, the email address you would like to use. Okay, then you're going to create your account. You're going to enter your first name and your password. It is going to say welcome. And you're going to hit let's do this. What brings you to Etsy? You can pick one of these options if you would like, but I'm going to skip this question. Also here, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm going to skip this question. Now we're going to start the shop. Under shop preferences, we're going to select English. Country is going to be United States and it's going to be dollars. Then we're going to hit save and continue. We're going to name our shop. Just feel free to pick whatever name. You can always change it if you don't like it later. For some reason, if the name that you add is not available, Etsy will let you know and then you can always change it or add like numbers or company or something else extra then you're gonna hit save and continue uh, in order to create your shop you have to create a listing you can always delete it don't overthink it you can just add like a little dummy photo so you're gonna have to add a photo here then we're gonna have to add like a title so just put title here who made it I did what is it a finished product when did you make it made to order and then you have to select a category just put it under clothing select a t-shirt let's keep going let's do manual and then when it expires you can always renew it it's a physical product and then a description, just that description here. Let's keep scrolling, price, just add whatever price, let's put a dollar quantity, let's just add one. Shipping prices, okay, so I'll enter fixed prices manually. Country of origin is gonna be the United States. Go ahead and enter zip code. Processing time for now, just put one business day. The shipping from the United States, just pick USPS. What you will charge for your shipping. And then if you're planning on selling somewhere else, you can always add this here, but I don't, so I just delete this. And it's going. There we go. Save and continue. Okay, listen is done. And then we're gonna hit do this later. Okay, so now we're at the part where you have to select um, payment. So where's your bank located? United States. And then at this point, most Etsy sellers start as individuals unless you already have established a business, but I'll just click on individual. Um, I started as individual. I just recently switched to the business, but as individual, you are going to go ahead and fill out the rest of this information, like country of residency, first name, last name, your date of birth, and then, you know, your basic information. And then you're going to have to submit, um, your bank information so Etsy can confirm it. Okay, so next we get to set up billing. In this part, um, you just have to submit a credit card because Etsy does charges 20 cents every time you post a listing. So just to make sure that they get paid, um, you do have to insert your credit card number, 
and then all your billing information. So once you have set up your payment form, then you're going to do a two form um, identification. Then after that, it's going to bring you to this bar where it says your shop has been created. And this is it. Your shop is live. So now we're going to go into Printify to show you how to connect your XC shop with Printify. Okay, so now we're at Printify.com. We're going to hit sign up. Okay, after we hit sign up, we're gonna, it's gonna take us here to register. We're gonna enter email and the password, and then we're gonna obviously click on not a robot and then sign up. Okay, so then it's gonna take us to what describe you best. You're gonna hit, I have my own e-commerce store. What is your main objective? Start my first online business. What would you like help with? And then here, feel free to select um, whatever option you would like. I'm just going to put out only help at this moment. How do you find that about Printify? And you can just select whichever option. It's so with Google search. And now is the time that you're going to connect Printify with the Etsy store. So you're going to hit connect your store, my new store, connect. We're going to go to Etsy, connect to Etsy, and then it's just going to tell you an application would like to connect your account. Let's go all the way to the bottom, and you're going to hit Grant Access. Congrats! Your store is connected. So now the next thing that we need to do is set up our payment method. Okay, so in order to set up our payment method, we're going to click on this little person icon, green icon. We're going to go to payments. Um, so here you can either use a PayPal account or you can enter your credit card information. When you enter your credit card information, it's going to just ask you for like the number, all that, and the billing address as well. Okay, so after we have set up our payment, we are going to finish filling out our store. So we're going to go up here, manage my stores, hit on this gear item. We're going to name a store. So pretty much the name of your SD shop will be what you're going to add here as your store name. You're going to save that. Ship from address. I like to use the default one unless you have like a UPS, I mean a PO box that you would like to use. This is only important for, for example, if a customer gives you like a wrong address and it has to be shipped back, it's just going to go back to the printified address that they chose to put on the package. So I just keep it as the default option. Then you hit save and then order routing pretty much whenever you pick a provider for some reason. If let's say a shirt in a certain color is out of stock, they're going to push it out to the next provider that has it available. I don't like that because I like to pick and choose which providers um, my items go to. So I don't check this, but if you don't really have a preference, you can just check this, but I keep this on check. And then approval, you get to select when the orders go into production. So whether like manually, meaning you have to do each like one by one automatically like every hour every 24 hours i like to do it at a set time so i just keep this like at 12 so every day at 12 p.m all my orders go through um, and then you just hit save and that is pretty much it that is all you need to um get your store going you have now set up your etsy Open your Etsy shop, set it up, and then link it to your Printify, and you are ready to go. You made it to the end of this video, and I would like for you to watch this video next, because in that video, I'm going to walk you step-by-step step on how to create your store branding. See you in the next one.